What's up guys, Jordan here from Show Me Vegas with another episode of This Week in Vegas. Hey, before we get into it, do me a favor, take just a second, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. We'd love to have you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But for now, let's get into what happened this week in Las Vegas. The big story this week in Las Vegas is the reopening of Ka. That's right, Ka by Cirque du Soleil is back at the MGM Grand. This marks the final Cirque du Soleil show to reopen on the Las Vegas Strip. It's the fifth of their shows. They've reopened them one at a time, starting with Mystere back in uh, June, I believe it was. They've been reopening them just one at a time, and Ka is the final one. It hosted its first performances this past Wednesday, just before Thanksgiving. Now, if you're not familiar with Ka, it's perhaps the most artistic of the Cirque du Soleil shows. I know that's kind of interesting to say because they're clearly all very artistic. It's the only one we haven't actually seen that's still in production. We've seen all of the others. We've also even seen a couple of the ones that don't exist anymore, but Ka looks just a little bit weird. Uh, if you've seen it, comment below and tell us what you thought of it. We hear really mixed opinions on this one, but that's not the only exciting news when it comes to shows, and it's not the only news when it comes to Cirque du Soleil shows, because Cirque du Soleil also mentioned just recently that they're developing a new show for New York, New York. Now, if you're familiar with Cirque du Soleil, you know they used to have a show at New York, New York. It was called Zumanity. Uh, that theater has been dark ever since Zumanity closed. Zumanity closed when the pandemic hit, and then they chose a few months later to just close it permanently and not reopen it. It had a good long run at New York, New York. We saw it a couple of times and loved it, but that theater has been dark ever since. Cirque officials did say that while that theater is beautiful, it is about 18 years old and it's time for a reboot, so they're going to make some upgrades to the theater in terms of sound and lighting, and they're developing a brand new show for New York, New York. It's going to be New York themed. However, that is going to shake out, I don't know. But that show is expected to open in the first or second quarter, perhaps spring of 2022. So exciting news in the entertainment world in Las Vegas. Well, hopefully you had a happy Thanksgiving if you uh, celebrate Thanksgiving in the United States. This past weekend saw huge crowds come to Las Vegas. They were expecting a return to pre-pandemic crowd levels this year with a lack of occupancy restrictions and uh, closures and that sort of thing that they had last year, 2020, and the crowds did not disappoint. One notable addition to the crowds this year on Thanksgiving were international travelers. As you know, international travel to the United States is back, so there were a lot of international travelers in Las Vegas this week. Official crowd numbers have not been released, but they were expecting in the ballpark of 300,000 travelers to come to Las Vegas this past weekend for the Thanksgiving holiday. Now, one thing those travelers did experience this weekend, inevitably, is higher room rates. If you have noticed room rates in Las Vegas have climbed recently, you're not alone, you're not crazy, unless you're booking at Caesars Properties, in which case you are crazy. Some interesting figures came out recently regarding room rates uh, compared to 2019, so the last pre-pandemic year. MGM Resorts International reported their room rates are up 4% during the week and 29% on the weekends from 2019. Wynn Resorts midweek rates are up 23% and their weekend rates are up 47% from 2019. But Caesars Entertainment has actually been lowering their rates. Their midweek rates are down 20% from 2019 and their weekend rates are down 9%. So while all the other companies are raising their rates, Caesars is lowering their rates. Just another indication that business is not too good at Caesars Entertainment. It's not surprising if you watched this vlog Recently, you saw what their third quarter earnings were for 2021, and they were not good. Still hemorrhaging cash, so, so Caesars still in a bit of trouble. Hey, if you're looking for a deal, then Caesars properties are where you want to look. And in the category of interesting stories in Las Vegas this week, there was a good one. There was a bomb threat at the Bellagio. Not really. Well, sort of. Let's go back to the beginning. This guy right here is 52-year-old Greg Cohen, and he allegedly dined and dashed at Spago at the Bellagio on November 12th. Now that doesn't sound like much of a story until you find out that his bill was $4,200. So they found him just loitering around the casino after dashing on his $4,200 check at Spago. When he was approached by police, he told them he had $10,000 on him that he could pay his bill with, but they didn't find any cash on his person. He then allegedly stated to police, there is a bomb. All the security officers present stated that Cohen repeated the word bomb multiple times, at which time he was promptly hauled off to jail. 
He was arrested and charged with communicating a bomb threat and theft greater than $1,200. Court records show he is being held without bail and is scheduled to appear in court on December 1st. Now, just like last week, I am made of questions about this story again, like, was he alone? How did he run up a $4,200 tab at Spago if he was alone? I'm not joking. I actually went to Spago's website. I pulled up their menu. I added up every single food item on the menu. Every appetizer, every entree, every steak, every dessert, all of it, and it all totaled up to, if you ordered one of every item, $1,640. Now clearly, if you look at this guy's face, here it is again, he had a few cocktails. He must have gotten into some expensive champagne or wine or something to run up a $4,200 tab. So then, evidently, he's just hanging around in the casino after he walked out on his $4,200 dinner without paying. And he said, you know what, when security comes, I've got the perfect response. I'm just going to tell them there's a bomb in the building. That, that should help. Another one of those stories that doesn't seem believable, but there it is in black and white in the Las Vegas Review Journal. Interesting to say the least. Hey, that's it for this week in Vegas. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also hit that thumbs up button, hit that notification bell. We've got some additional videos in addition to this vlog coming up soon. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. Hey, anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.